Anyone wanting a review on a crap Chinese car? The classic MG Roadsters. Sadly, this whole thing is no more. Um, they're scary. Ultimately, if you're a millennial type, there's a good chance that MG means nothing to you. The MG ZS here is the latest small step in a very slow burning and, to be fair, quite uneventful comeback. This is cheap. And it's cheap because MG is a budget brand these days. It does feel cheap though, and it smells cheap too. It has less a new car smell and more a freshly melted plastic bag smell. Uh, clearly, that's terrible. And all the plastic feels like hollow and you can sort of manipulate it in ways that you probably shouldn't be able to. That's terrible. It's all just very basic. The two petrol engines that let you choose what sort of character you want your MG to have at least. Either slow and throaty sounding or just slow. It's just that it feels a bit under engineered in a few very important ways. It's not like the ZS is bolt fall out. But when it's in gear there's about three inches of travel left and right. That's terrible. And the engine, well this 1.5 one at least, just feels ancient just feels completely overwhelmed by the weight of this car there's no reach adjustment for the wheel now quite a few small cars do that but for me it's just such a simple thing to engineer into a car I just wish they'd thrown a bit more money into finishing it off a little bit better it's stuff like that, that unravels the zs the flimsy cabin and the lack of equipment in the base model and the weird driving quirks oh yeah and the alarmingly average safety rating the uh the front protection on this thing uh that's scary. They take it from being a lovable budget car in the same way that a Dacia is to many, but not me, into being just basically a crap Chinese car. Uh, this has got the front bar off, but yeah, I'll, I'll give you a look. So that's your front intrusion bar. This would normally come around to here. So this is the headlight to the guard, and there's literally nothing there. Now, from a design point of view... I still don't really see one good reason why you'd buy this ahead of one of the many other options that you have in this segment. Car is less than a year old. Second one of these I've seen. The exhaust has already got surface corrosion. It's terrible. Nothing has been properly under sealed. Look at this surface corrosion. This car is less than a year old. Just look at the state of the front subframe already. This car is less than one year old. Uh, clearly. It looks like it's been parked in a river. Look at it. That, for a less than year old car, it's disgusting. There's no good reason for this to even exist, which is probably taking it a bit too far and it's probably upsetting for some people. But Clearly, that's terrible.